Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. In today's video we are going to make a power hammer and a press in one unit. I don't know if we are the first one to do this, but I haven't seen anyone else make it before. And just to let you guys know, I actually didn't build this build, this was actually my dad. But in the end of this video, I will try to run you through what we did and what features the machine has.
This is the finished product. It's an air-driven power hammer and a hydraulic press in one unit, which I think is pretty cool. We are going to take a look at the power hammer first and then the press. This power hammer has a weight of 29 kilos and is powered by a 300 liter compressor from 1974, which can produce a lot of air in a short amount of time. The pneumatic cylinder has a diameter of 80 millimeters, which should be big enough that we can later add more weight to the hammer if we need to. The way we control how often the power hammer hits is with this timer that controls the input and output of air. This dial controls how long the hammer is in the top position. And this dial controls how long the hammer is in the bottom position. This makes it very easy to control how many beats per minute you want and making sure that the hammer doesn't stand still in the bottom position and sucking the heat out of the steel. Here you can see a self-alignment nut that we use because a pneumatic, a pneumatic uh, cylinder can only stand pressure up and down from an up and down motion but not from side to side. So we have the self-alignment nut to increase the lifetime of the cylinder we use. We made sure that we were able to use the same dies for the hammer and the press. So we made this square hole where you can put the die in and put a pin through the hole in the die so it's secure. The thing that made the most noise on the power hammer was actually not the hammer hitting the steel. It was actually the excess air leaving the cylinder when the hammer was going up and down. That's why we made this wooden box filled with foam to reduce the sound. This is a 10 ton hydraulic press which is driven by the same hydraulic station as my under 24 ton press. This press is under half the power of my other press but it moves super fast and precise. If you look at my other press it is not as fast and when the and the die connected to the cylinder is tilting to one side when it touches the steel which makes it a very imprecise tool to use compared to the smaller one. But for making big billets of Damascus the smaller one is simply not powerful enough. Hey guys, thanks for watching to the end. If you want to, if you want to buy the plans for this hydraulic press slash power hammer, the link to a webshop will be in the description.